This is a demo on the Deals Intelligence API. This API is designed to provide comprehensive biopharma deals information, helping you search for potential partners, conduct due diligence, assess deal value, and explore deal structures and terms. First, you must log in to Cortellus Labs. Across the top of the web page, you will see a list of the Cortellus APIs. For this demo, click on Deals Intelligence to load the Deals Intelligence API web page. Scroll down to the Demos area, and in the purple bar for Deals Intelligence Search Record, click the plus sign. Next, click the Demo button to open up the Deals Intelligence API demo page. This demo demonstrates searching for expanded information on the various deals and provides an overview of the deals intelligence data. On this web page, you just need to enter a query. Below the search bar, you can see some instructions and examples on how best to run a search. For the purposes of this demo, we will use the example search of AstraZeneca and cancer. Once the results load, you can see the search returned 492 results and contains various subsets of data. This data comes from passing the Get Deals Results Expanded Operation of the Deals Intelligence API. From the overview page, you can see there are various types of filters that narrow down the search results based on those particular filters. This demo showcases how you can use some of the various filters available with the Deals Intelligence API to narrow down the results of a particular query, and then how you can display the results visually via various pie charts and bar graphs. Keep in mind, the graphics displayed in this demo are just examples of what one can do with the data coming from the Deals Intelligence API. In the first funnel chart, you can see the deal statuses. Each horizontal bar is associated to a deal status for your query. For instance, the blue wedge shows active and that there are 457 deals for AstraZeneca, which constitutes roughly 93% of the associated deals. You can also click on one of the horizontal bars in the funnel chart representing the status of the deals to narrow down their search results by just that status. For instance, clicking on the blue bar for active will update the results for all graphics to display information on just those 457 deals. This data comes from passing the Get Deal Results Expanded operation of the Deals Intelligence API using the query Deal Status Active. If you want to return to the full search results, just click the X in the Deal Status Active box at the top of the results page to remove this filter. In fact, for each graphic on the results page, you can click on the pie chart or bar graphs to narrow the results down so the page displays only data for that particular item chosen. You can also hover over any section of these graphics to see the number of associated deals and the percentage of the total number of associated deals. On, the, on this page, you can see other examples of ways to graphically display the data outputted from the Deals Intelligence API. To the right, you can see a tree map showcasing the types of deals broken out by the deal status. The bigger the square on the tree map coincides with more associated deals based on that type and status. Next, you can see how the data can be presented using a cloud graphic. In this instance, we are displaying the various deal types where the larger the text, the more deals which meet the associated query. Below the cloud graphic, you can see a way to represent the data by using a button filter. This allows you to let the user choose between different options to filter the data further. 
in this demo, you, we are using the analytics for either the top one principal partners or the top one partner principles as a means of filtering the data. When clicking on one of the two buttons, a pop-up window opens showing the results for that filter. For instance, in clicking the top one principal partners button, the new table graphic displays information by listing all partners per deal statuses and types. You can see the principal company AstraZeneca PLC, then the deal status, the deal types associated with each status, and finally the list of partner companies for each deal type. As per the other graphics, hovering over any of the items in the table will show you the number of associated deals. On the next row, you can see representations of how to use the horizontal bar graph. In this case, we show the top 10 principal and partner companies based on the associated query. The companies for each graphic are listed on the left with the bar graphs displaying the number of associated deals per company. Scrolling down the page, you can see other filters which use the horizontal bar graph. Each of these graphics displays the results of that particular filter based on your query for the resulting associated deals. Next are examples of a filter using a pie chart, in this case displaying a breakdown of the organization types of the associated principal and partner companies related to the associated deals. Each pie wedge represents one of the organization types and includes the number of associated deals based on your query. To the right, you can see an example of a filter using a vertical bar graph. This filter is using several variables, projected at signing, projected current, paid, to showcase a multifaceted bar graph on the deal amounts per number of deals. The vertical bar chart shows the amount of the deals across the x-axis and the number of deals on the y-axis. If you hover over a grouping of bars, you can see how many associated deals there are for each variable under the chosen range of the deal amount. Along the next row of filters, you can see examples of a yes-no configuration. These are showing the number of associated deals that either meet or do not meet the particular filter. For instance, the first filter shows the number of deals that have a contract. This demo also showcases several other examples of the yes-no graphic. Lastly, you can see an example of another type of pie chart, which is filtered on the highest phase of the associated deals both at the start and at current. These charts list the phases for each time period and display the number of associated deals when you hover over a phase. Back at the top of the page, there is a blue view deals button in the top right. Clicking this takes you to the deals intelligence deals table that lists all records for your chosen query and allows you to go to directly to a particular deal record by selecting the title. Please note for the purposes of this demo, you are only shown a subset of records. You can also sort by several categories, including principal and partner company, status, type, and the deal start and end dates to filter the results, as well as perform a search to narrow them down further. Once you click on one of the associated deal names, you are taken directly to a PDF of the expanded deal record chosen. This, this data comes from passing the Get Deal Record Expanded Operation of the Deals Intelligence API. In order to get the data directly in PDF instead of XML or JSON, one would need to instead pass the export deal record expanded of the deals intelligence API. As you can see through the deals intelligence API, you can display various pie charts, bar graphs, etc., all within one interface. 
There are also various ways to filter down the data, eventually going directly to the individual expanded deals record available via PDF.